Taurus, how are you doing? Beautiful, beautiful souls. I hope that you're doing absolutely amazing. Welcome to your general reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. This one's for 7th or 13th August. I think I already said that. Picked up. <laughs> um, but take it as it resonates. And if anything really resonates with you in the reading, if you really say yes to it, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and say yes to it. We're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, immediate future, clarify and end off with an oracle card for you all right or let's see what's going on for you what's rocking 7th of 13 august for taurus please what do we have ah okay so some realizations you reached there in the recent past um got some clarity on your dreams realize what is in the way of your dreams um move to a deeper sense of strength a little bit of you or quite a bit of emotional conflict going on over here um interestingly enough got your in your current space there's the ace of wands which is on the same space where it was for sag all right um and then going forward i see you sort of doing your own thing going forward there quite a bit so let's focus on the recent past first so recent past nine of pentacles judgment card and the four of swords all right um so when i look at this it's almost like you got a little bit of a breather. Uh, uh, it's interesting, Taurus. It's it's like you've got a bit of a breather that you could do your own thing. But I don't know. It feels uncomfortable. It feels... doesn't sit very comfortably with me. Um, I don't know if there might have been a little bit of a space of selfishness that may have stepped in here at some point. Um... And I feel that for some of you, Taurus, it might be that you are, you know, sometimes in life we say, if you treat me like this, I'm going to treat you like that. You know, I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. But then sometimes that thing has a tendency, that sort of, you know, way of operating as a way of sort of getting pulled out of context, you know, because let's say, for example, it's you and I, you do something that I don't like. And then I say, well, this is how you treat me, so this is how I'm going to treat you. And then I do something that you don't like, and then you say, oh, well, screw you. If that's what you do, then I'm going to do that. And then it just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows, you know. Um, it, but funny enough, simultaneously, and before I even say this, I want you to know that I am a big, 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 big supporter of keeping pets, especially fish um responsibly because a lot of people don't especially with goldfish so what i was going to say is that when you put a goldfish in a bigger and bigger bowl or bigger tank they grow and grow and grow um but in the same token okay now it makes sense but in the same token you know we a lot of times people keep goldfish and they keep them in these small tanks or they want them in like in a bowl or whatever but a goldfish has got the capacity to to grow up to about this size literally they can get very very big you know they can get the size of my head basically but a lot of times they, they're in the small little bowls or like tanks and they don't get sufficient circulation and air and space and whatever and they don't grow bigger but they actually suffer a lot internally so i feel that for some of you there's, there's that sort of thing going on here but you got clarity about what those things are taurus or who that person is or what that energy is or whatever it may be realizing that you have to let go i see you releasing i see you having let go i see you you can almost say embracing your power even though some of you may not have realized this and funny enough um even though judgment is there you know a lot of times when we see an energy like this this is more energy of releasing it's energy of letting go it's energy of not holding on it's energy of saying well i deserve more you know you go your way i go my way we all do it peacefully but interestingly enough this is a stain sort of energy you know it's a it's a it's a sort of energy of saying well i can let this go or before i decide to let it go or to release or to leave or to cut ties or whatever um let's first see if there's maybe a different way in which i can make it work all right i can see that a lot of you are coming from that point there's a real sense of patience that started to step in here with you where you know you got the thing sometimes that people speak about taurus and their stubborn mind 
Well, you may have realized, well, maybe there's a different way that I can do it. You know, maybe, maybe, um, maybe I'm just being stubborn sort of thing, you know. Um, and, and so let me, let me see if I try to do it differently. In your current space, you've got the Seven of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the, the Ace of Wands. And this is the Ace of Wands that has got in the same place where Sagittarius has got it. Um, seven of Wands are things all hunky-dory in where you are at the moment. Mm -mm, I don't get that, Taurus. I get that um, there's, there's fighting, but there's fighting inner demons over here. But in the same token, there's also overcoming that. It's, it's definitely overcoming the fighting of those inner demons as well. And by overcoming the inner demons, you are opening this new space for yourself, this beautiful new possibility for yourself um, of what things could prospectively become. I feel that, no judgment, no judgment um, at all, Taurus, but I feel that for many of you, to a certain degree, that your heart was actually closed up. And... You know, close up in the sense of um, with, with love, with romance, even with friendship, staying or going. There's sort of like power for you in staying as opposed to going. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it feels almost like this time around, and the guidance for it this time around, instead of just, you know, packing your bags and saying, you know, fuck the shit. Um, you may do better from from actually remaining in the space. You know, the way that I always say for me, when challenges come up for me, I say, to myself, well, I already have this challenging experience right now, so I can just as well resolve it, see what it is, get a better understanding of it, so it doesn't have to come back again. So I, I, what is the lesson? I'm willing to understand what is the conscious and the subconscious, the things I know and the things I don't know that are contributing towards what I have currently, Willing to have a deep understanding of it, willing to learn about it so that I can heal from it for the greatest good of all, you know, myself included. And when you get that lesson, that is when you get that heart opening. And I feel that for many of you, that has happened. You have changed quite a lot in the recent past. You may have been, it's almost like you have been putting, um, let's say you focus on self-development, you know. Um, and so you watch the motivational talks, you take the courses, you, you know, you do the work, all of those type of things. And now it's sort of like the implementation of that, because it's easy to say I've got it until life sort of gives you certain circumstances that makes you realize maybe you don't have it at 100%, but you do have it quite a bit and you can still work on it. And I feel that's sort of where many of you are at the moment. The, the biggest message, the biggest takeaway here is that you are much stronger than you realize. You are much more together than you may be giving yourself credit for. And I feel that a lot of you are not giving yourself the credit that you deserve, almost based on other people's ideas of you. So this could be things from this connection, it could be, but it feels like it's more from the past, you know, so... Maybe you felt like a, like a pest or in the way or, you know, not good enough, not strong enough, whatever in the past. And it's almost like that sort of carried through into where you are at the moment, contributing to life experiences that you don't like and appreciate. But it's like getting that and then moving past that. In the energy coming your way in the immediate future, you've got the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups energy was, um, was also in there for Sagittarius. Um, but there's a balance here coming about and going forward, remember, this is some good guidance for you there, beautiful, beautiful Taurus, that you want things to make sense in your head as well as in your mind, in your head as well as in your heart, you know, um, so if the head says yes, that's the plan, check with the heart as well, does the heart agree, and don't try to bully the heart, you know, and does the heart agree, okay, does the head agree, but also don't sort of make, but this is how it feels, so I must go about, you know, it almost feels like for some of you, there might be others involved, but they might be reflecting sort of very much what's going on inside of yourself. So there might be painful situations and circumstances coming up, but I feel that in many ways, it's sort of a reflection of what is unresolved within yourself. All right. So quite a big, uh, quite a big message here for you, Taurus. Let's clarify that message um, in the recent past over there for you. So we got the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and once again, the energy that came up for Taurus in the recent past, the Wheel of Fortune. 
All right. Um, so this is about growing from a space that isn't feeling all that healthy, that isn't feeling all that pleasant. It's about growing from that space. It's about um, almost like a trial and error for what, what is working and what isn't working, that sort of thing, you know. Um, what is working for me, what is not working for me, what is working for the connection, what is not working for the connection. And Wheel of Fortune, there are changes coming about, two sixes there in the dices. Um, I feel that for many of you, you made choices here in the recent past that are not the same as what you would have made before. And that in itself is the testimony of your growth. And because you haven't made the choices in the past, or in the recent past, that is probably what you would have done in the more distant sort of past, you are getting a different sort of unfolding of life. All right? You, you're very much becoming coming full circle. And the, even though there are challenges in your current space, you, it's like you are stronger. You know, you are more capable. You, and, and this is the beautiful thing. There's a big realization for many of you, and you haven't realized it yet, I'm happy to share it with you, that you are not necessarily always the one at fault. Um, and if you're not at fault, and, and, and this was a big lesson for me to learn in my life, that if I am not at fault and somebody else sees me as at fault, they could every right to feel the way that I feel, but it doesn't mean that I have to feel that way. If somebody calls me a fucking idiot, then, you know, I believe that you have got every right to have that opinion of me because I don't have the right to tell you how you should feel or what your opinion should be. But it doesn't mean that I have to feel that way about myself as well. I can be like, you know what? You know? You think I'm a freaking idiot? I don't have to feel the same way either. You know, you want to push me down, I have to push myself down as well. That sort of thing. And I feel there's a real sense of strength in there. In your current space, clarifies you've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Hermit. Okay? So, which is really, really fantastic because we also have the Eight of Pentacles here in your energy going forward. So, I can see you starting something new. Um, for a lot of you, there's some things that you need. It's, it's like some loose ends that you need to tie up, you know? Um, maybe you're starting something new, starting your own thing. Eight of Pentacles is all about starting your own thing, starting your own business, starting your own life, starting your own trip. But in a very positive sense of the word, it's like the bee getting the honey there. The bees are getting the honey because it wants to disadvantage the flower, or it wants to say like to the other bees, like, yeah, 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 I got the, you know, I got the nectar first. It's about working together to create something beautiful, which is honey, which can last for a very long period of time. Because I mean, you know, there are um, canoptic jars that were opened from ancient Egypt with honey that is literally like over three and a half thousand years old, you know, um, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. And so there is the power of taking the small little steps. If you're dealing with someone, this it might be time to maybe get a professional on board here. It might be time to maybe get some counseling or stuff like that if you want to make things work. Even if you want to step away, you want to step away with peace. All right, to get emotions intact here. Um, there's a there's a there's a tendency, um, Taurus here, to maybe want to run, to maybe want to leave. But remember that. You know, and I mean, I'm not saying that you should stay in a situation that is really unbearable or, you know, where there's obviously physical violence and abuse and all those sort of things. Obviously, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that if you can, what you really want is you want to reach a, a space of peace here, you know, where you can, whatever decision you make, you can make it from a point of peace. Don't take, don't make decisions when you are mad, Okay. Don't make decisions when you are mad, though. Um, they will be... Oh, sorry, card falling to the floor. Very powerful message immediately going forward. Um, any decisions made from anger, it's, anger is a form of fear. I can basically guarantee you're not going to like the outcome of that. Page of Wands in reverse position, fell to the floor, Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So for many of you that are asking, you know, is this the end of a situation? Is there something new? It's pretty much up to you. But whether you go or whether you stay, you want to be sure that it comes from a point, you want to make your decision from a point of having inner peace. Because if you don't, then you may get yourself 
in a situation where you have an extended sort of unfolding of what you try to get away from. Okay, so not the brightest but of readings, but sometimes you know we need to we need to hear what we need to hear. That's what I got for you. If any of you are obviously wanting to have a deeper look in exploration, you can always book a personal reading. There's the details down below for you how to do that. But let's first finish off for you with an oracle card. Let's see what it is that the universe would like to communicate to you, beautiful Taurus. And if that if that was helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification so you know when your weekly readings are coming out. It's speaking about truth. Now, truth is not necessarily pretty. You know, we've got this idea that the truth has to always be sort of a these type of beautiful tinsel and whatever. But that's not necessarily always the case. But um, once we kind of stick around and get the full truth, we can make an informed decision. Sorry about that, I'm not sure what's going on. I'll have a look now. But also do have a look at my link for my step-by-step um, -step tarot reading course, have a link for my free oracle card reading course. Definitely have a look at that guided hypnosis. And I'll see you next time. Bye.